What's up, Parkville? Welcome back to PTV News. I'm Alfonso. And my name's Anna. Today is March 9th, and it's a D-Day. And my name is Danielle. It's Thursday, which means a new installment of Tech News. Stay tuned for that and much more coming up after the pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Eighth graders, next week we begin our science assessment to demonstrate all that we have learned from sixth grade through this year. The test will take place beginning Tuesday, March 14th. Your science teacher will share more information about the testing schedule. This is a reminder that tomorrow is Black Friday. Please remind your teachers to turn off any lights that, that you do not need in, or, in order to conserve energy. Parkville, do you want to purchase a yearbook? Well, they're officially on sale now until April 28th. Yearbooks cost $35 and 8th grade ads in the back of the book cost $25. Don't forget to get your order forms in from your homeroom teacher. All drama club students staying for rehearsal this Friday need to stop by Mrs. Miller's room 212 and sign up for dinner. You must be on the dinner list by 2.40 today. This is also a reminder that rehearsal will run until 8 o'clock tomorrow. Please make sure you will be picked up on time. Eighth graders, do you still want, to want a t-shirt but did not turn in your money on time? You're in luck. Because Ms. Kaczynski will be collecting money for t-shirts next Wednesday and Thursday, March 15th and 16th in the lobby during homeroom. This, this will be the final sale. All money and forms are due to Ms. Kaczynski by 2.40 on Thursday. No money or forms will be accepted after that. Ad additional forms can be found in the main office. Tennis tryouts will begin next Tuesday, March 14th and will take place from 3 o'clock to 4.15. Students must attain permission slips as well as physicals before be beginning practice. Any students who have already had a physical this year for sport will not have to attain a physical. However, students must get their parental consent through permission through a, the permission slip. Please see Mr. Brock in room 104 for further details. It is now time for the Artorama trivia question of the day. Please get out your green answer sheets. Today's question is an, is a fill in the blank. Here is here it is. Scottish artist Andy Goldsworthy creates sculptures of natural materials which change over time in the environment. In these two installations, he has patiently arranged materials to lead our eye to one, one area of blank. Is it A, composition, B, emphasis, or C, vision? Be sure to make your selection on the green Artorama answer sheet. Tune in tomorrow for the next art-related trivia question. Our special segment today is your tech news for, from the past week. For more details, we go to Kyle. Emilio, I, I, I'm sorry, man, but um, I got you a birthday present. It's really, 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 really late, but um, here you go, man. Generosity. What's up, Park Pro? It's your boy, Kyle here, obviously with your weekly major tech news for this week. Let's get right into the news. First things first, the Nintendo Switch has had a rough launch. Many technical issues occurred, such as dead pixels on the screen and connectivity issues. Not only that, but there has been a plethora of negatives to it. For example, the only good game on it so far has been Zelda. Now, I can't say much, and I try to stay from opinions. So, you decide as the viewer. Has it been good? Decide, like I just said, because, you know, I can't formulate English. All right. Our second story for our second news story for today is about a recent scientific breakthrough that is simply fascinating. IBM, a large technology-based company, has found a way to put data into a single atom. You heard that right, folks. That's crazy. Now, the technology is new, so expect your don't expect your iPhone to hold over 600 gigabytes cuz, you know, still, it's new. Atom-based storage could radically change computers and storage overall. Imagine holding o over 26 million songs on your smartwatch. It's definitely complicated, so check it out on your own time if you are interested, because, you know, y okay. Our third and final story for today is about Android 7.0 recently released. First of all, over 1,200 emojis were added. Insane! Second, they added a ton of new features, such as the option to change your resolution to save more battery. There's a ton. So check them out on your own if you want, but 
I have to cut it here for time. Well, that wraps it up for the tech news today. My name is Kyle, and we now go back to the studio. What were you guys doing? I'm sorry, Kyle, but, you know, I took Emilio's very, very, very late birthday gift. Anyways, that wraps up our report for today. Thanks for watching from everyone at PTV News. I'm Alphonse. And my name's Anna. And my name's Danielle. Stay poppin' Parkville.